<laughs> Hello, I'm Matthew or F. Alecu. Thanks for joining me today. Today, I will be answering a very important question that was sent to me via email by someone connected to this channel. I would answer this question as I believe based on the word of God. And I will read the message or the email sent to me. And the message states, it says, Hello, Matthew. I came across your YouTube channel today and I was drawn to your videos. I believe you genuinely receive visions from God and all you say is true. I have a question about something you said in one of your videos. In your video where you talk about money losing value, you had suggested that those who have the means to do so could look into blockchain and digital currency. Now this caught my attention because I am struggling with fear in my heart. I have been learning how to trade Forex and Bitcoin for a while now, but whenever I am about to execute what I have learned, I feel fear. I begin to wonder if this is not gambling in the sight of God. I wonder if God would approve of trading or investing in the Forex stock or cryptocurrency markets. I am stuck in this position because I don't know whether God approves of this or not. I have prayed about it, but unfortunately, I don't really hear anything from God about this. So please let me know what you think about this. I look forward to hearing from you. God bless you. Thanks for your email. To answer this question, I will share two examples in the scripture. Then after that, I will share a personal experience I had with God on this kind of matter. Hopefully, we will reach a conclusion to your question. Firstly, I will start with the Old Testament. And in the Old Testament, about Joseph, we know what happened about Joseph. How he came from the prison to the palace. And how did this happen? Because Pharaoh had a dream. And he couldn't interpret the dream. So, someone referred him to Joseph. And Joseph explained and expatiated on the dream. He was showing there would be certain years of abundance and certain years of drought. God gave him the wisdom also to be able to manage and plan and schedule the whole country for a steady float through the years, through the year of abundance and the year of drought. And then it became a success. Glory be to God. He managed the situation well. And it showed God is very concerned about our social economical well-beings. You know, how nations thrive and how resources are managed effectively. And as a proof of it, he used Joseph to solve the problem. Having given him empowerment to know how to interpret the dreams of Pharaoh about economical or social economical factors that can affect the nation and how it can plan to make sure everywhere was afloat, things were steady. Glory be to God. So that's the first example I'll go on. The second would be with Jesus and the parable of the talents. You know, he gave one five talent, he gave one two talent, he gave one one talent. And these are currency. In today's currency, a talent is equivalent to half a million dollars. So, one received five talent, it multiplied it, it made ten. One had two, it made four. The other had one. He didn't do nothing with it, he just kept it underneath his pillow or dogged it down the ground. When Jesus came, he commended the first one for multiplying and increasing the talents or the finances is left him with and then he gave him control of 10 cities and the other one he gave him controls of the cities accordingly and the last one and this is the important thing and I'll, I'll actually read the scripture so we can hear a like for like what Jesus said and this is from the ESV version of the scripture and it says in the book of Matthew chapter 25 Verses 27, and I'm reading from the English Standard Version, ESV. And Jesus said this, he said, Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and at my coming I should have received what was my own with interest. Glory be to God. So I've shared one example from the Old Testament with Joseph, 
And I've shared a second example with the Lord himself concerning investment. And the third one I would share is an example I had myself about nine years ago. At that point, I was just on the brink of starting a business and I didn't have much at all on me. And God told me, he said, forget about money. Don't think about money yet. I'm in control. And he said unto me, watch what would happen this year. That was 2012. And he said, check this year the stocks on Windsor products and also vehicle, automobile stocks. And he said, and I would understand what he's talking about. And that year in the UK was very cold. It was very, very cold. And it was a record year for vehicle sales. So God is in control. And as a Christian, you have an advantage. You have the Holy Spirit. Based on what I've shared, firstly, about Joseph, about Jesus with a parable of talent, by experience, I would easily and gladly say investing in stocks, in various financial instruments, cryptocurrencies, and treasury bills, whatsoever investment vehicle it is, even gold, properties, is not gambling. Gambling is different. In the video I released, which the person mentioned about in the message, was based on a vision I received in 2020. God showed me what would happen to the value of money and how to overcome it. And I shared this message. I'll leave a link of this message in the description box beneath, so you can check it out. Anyway, from that message, I did say, if you had understanding, or if you had converse, if, if you did understand the stock market or understand the blockchain technology or cryptocurrency, you could invest in it. And there's a reason behind what I said. If you take your money and just toss it in anything without knowing what it is about, Understanding the market, checking the past charts, understanding what moves the market for the future, understanding the social economical factors, then you're throwing money away, then you're gambling. But if you have made your calculated risk and know where to put the money studied, these aspects, then you're not gambling. So your approach is the most important thing. Based on your question, you did mention you've studied on how to trade in stocks, forex, and various financial instruments. Therefore, I wouldn't consider you as someone gambling. But God is faithful. God does not just want you to invest in any stock or any type of cryptocurrency. He would lead you, if you pray to him, to guide you where to invest your money in, what shares to buy, what type of trading you should be involved in or with. Glory be to God. I trust this message would release or dissipate most of those fears you had and obviously if any other person listening right now is in the same position i hope this message will help you out so when you studied about it when you focus when you know what you're doing is just a different type of investment it's just like buying gold which is a tried and tested method it could go up, it could go down. There's risk for every type of investment. Owning a business is a risk. Owning a property, there's a risk. With any investment, there's a risk. But you just have to understand what you're doing. And I've studied the markets and know how to balance 
all the factors to ensure you get a profitable outcome. And I trust after this, you'd have more confidence in investing in such markets. Glory be to God. God bless you. Stay blessed.